what I'll do now is I will just modify it so we can try it with a rubber band. The main problem there is we don't get much grip with this sort of wheel. So we may have a problem with wheel spin. Modification to rubber band power. Not very much to modify. We don't need the balloon for a start. So we can take that off. I'll leave that bit on there. And what I'll do is I'll cut a slot just here. Right in the middle somewhere. That's all I've done. I've got three rubber bands joined together. I'll just demonstrate joining them. You've got one, you've got the other one. Push it through. There. So I've got my rubber bands joined together. If I push one of them, let's try and do this so you can see, into that slot, it'll hold itself there. You could put something through there to stop it pulling through, but that will stay there most of the time. Drop that underneath that axle so it doesn't rub against it. Now we've actually got three rubber bands here. That's too many really. That's too long. I'll try adjusting that. Yeah, you want it so it actually falls off the axle when it's finished. Now you could glue a little piece of wood on there so it makes a T-shape so you've got something to hook the rubber band on. Or you can do what I do, which is just put the rubber band over there, roll it around so it's holding itself in place. Now we will get wheel spin because these wheels have got no grip at all. So I'll just Put that down and let it go. And you probably saw the wheel spun straight away. A couple of fixes you could try. You could add weight and that helps hold the wheels on the ground. Or you could try putting rubber bands across the wheels, round them, so that you've got bits of rubber around the edge. Or you could take that balloon we had earlier cut it into strips and stretch them all the way round so you've got rubber tyres. I'll see if I've got some weight first. Well, I've got a nearly empty tin of paint there. That might just give us a bit of weight. So we'll wind it up again. that on there to give it a bit of weight and now it goes. in place, add the weight, we're only doing about three meters there but it is working as a rubber band powered car. time I wound the band up a little bit further and we got about six meters then. I'm a bit worried about winding it up too far because 
I expect these wheels will come loose on the axle. Although they do seem fairly well glued on there. But I think that's good enough. I think we've done the job. We've made a cardboard balloon powered car and then we converted it to rubber band power. So that's job done. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.